Welcome everyone to the Australian National Patong Championships 2022. We're about to witness the Open Triples Principal Final here at Nova Gardens. I'm Gary Hosey. Alongside of me is one of Australia's finest female players, Giselle Whitaker. I feel I have a lot to live up to now. Thanks for that. And we're just about uh, ready to start. And we have uh, two teams, of course, one in the red, one in the blue. And the red team is uh, consists of Van Tai Nguyen, Gavin Scott, and Harold Dursey. And the blue team, Lionel Chazal, uh, Raja Jamal Adin, and Kieran Clark. So that's Gavin in the circle now, uh, getting ready to point. He's a local player, so he should uh, have some familiarity with this ground. Although he stopped that one a little bit short. Still nicely in front. Raja is also a local lad, a member of the Eastern Suburbs Baton Club, as also is Lionel Chazelle and Kieran Clark, there, the other member. Um, he is from the Newcastle Club in New South Wales. But it's uh, Raja to point first. It's interesting to see the number of local players actually in this final. We've got four players, two from Prospect and two from Eastern Suburbs and then the two players uh, from other states, one from Newcastle and one from Sydney. That's correct. And that's a good ball. Nice point just down the side. Both teams have got uh, two very good shooters uh, in the ranks and uh, this should be a, a reasonably spectacular game I suspect. Oh, and that's a lovely point in, look at that right by the cosh. You'd have to be happy with that. And uh, certainly by the appearance, they, they did appear to be. So, Lionel Chazal, who last year was the singles champion uh, at this tournament. He's a fantastic talent. Ooh, he's just given a little nudge, but... Uh that bull has not gone far at all. Oh, and over the top that time. Must still be in his warm-up phase. So they'll be having the discussion now as to whether they have another shot or whether they try and just lock it down and, and point point in close. Kieran Looks like they're going for a shot. fantastic shooter also. And I suspect in the position that it's in, he'd be happy to hit it and kill the jack. It's a good chance too if the kosh moves that it will go towards their bull. Dropped it short, gone past. I think we might uh, be sensing some tension at the start of this game as they settle in. It's not a great start. Potentially they could be hit with uh, a few points unless they can um, defend well. And that wouldn't be what he would have wanted in that situation. But it does give them the bull behind if there's any kosh movement. 
I imagine Kieran now will be trying to get something in front to block the line. Kieran's recently come back after a few years uh, of not playing very much at all, but he is such a talented guy that uh, here he is in the final. Oh, and he's also gone through. So probably not the strongest start. I would have expected uh, maybe a little more um, bull in front. But this is an opportunity for the for our red team. And straight away Van steps in to shoot that ball, create lots of space for the, the team to point. And he split the back balls, but that I'm guessing was not his goal. No. It looks like his ball stayed, so there are still possibilities to shoot for extra points. He's a very relaxed shooter, Van. He just steps in, pops it out, and invariably hits. Oh, he's given it a nudge, but not quite enough. Well, that has made space, of course. I think that uh, this shows the tension that's likely to be there in the, uh, the opening ends of this game. Some very talented shooters did not produce the sort of hits that they would have been hoping for. And let's hope that once they relax a bit into it, we'll start to see some spect spectacular shots. Let's see what Harold can bring. Ooh, that was unexpected. And unwanted, I would suggest. in. A little bit hard to see from this angle. What's happened? Yep, they've scored two by the look of that. One of our broadcast sponsors, of course, is the Patong Federation of Australia, who have realised the, uh, the power and effectiveness of video when it comes to promoting our game. And these uh, video clips of these finals from 2022 will be available on the Patong Federation Australia website. See how they start off this end. See if they've settled in a little bit more now that they've got that two point lead. It's always nice to get draw first blood. Certainly is. bit wide but as a final this is an untimed game so those strings uh, don't really come into play at this point the bull is still in play we've witnessed in uh, previous games that there is a bit of a uh, an annoying hump in this area close to the string and there is a real uh, propensity for the ball to deviate left or right. Mm -hmm. 
That's a good ball. Nicely in front. It's the kind of ball you want just to be out there in front as a visual deterrent for the other team. Can easily be knocked on. And that's why Van's stepping up to shoot. And beautiful. Beautifully done. He has such a gentle shooting style. Yes, for anybody out there who's looking at um, someone to emulate, I think Van's probably one of the, the best to do so. He doesn't shoot hard. He shoots very smooth. Um, and, uh, and that's sort of one of the problems I think that a lot of beginner players do is that they try to shoot hard. But uh, you don't need to shoot hard. And he, Van is a classic um, case of demonstrating that. Oh, and that's a nice ball as well. Took a bit of a bumpy path, but it's made it in there. And Van will step in to shoot. He will, of course, hope for his ball to not only hit the opposition ball, but for his ball to stay close. And he's knocked it out. But there's not a lot in close at this point. Red team look like they've got two on the ground. I can't imagine those two staying for the next four balls though. Although stranger things have happened. Far, but I believe it is holding. Gavin and Van uh, often play together in doubles and uh, with Van being the experienced man uh, he's very likely to come and indicate to Gavin where to land his ball. Which Gavin has done. Players went to the circle, had a look. It looks like the decision has been made and Lionel Chazelle shoots. Mm, and he misses. This is surprising from him. As we've mentioned, he is a very strong shooter. Preparing to point. And he's brought it back a little bit from his earlier ball, but is it enough? I think judging by the reaction, reaction I suspect he might have gone long. Uh, 
Oh, I thought that was going to take the kosh back nicely. Certainly and it I did just too. didn't do it. It's interesting to observe the blue team would probably be one of the very few teams around where all three players point from a squatted position. Not so common in, in Australia, but certainly very common in France. Uh, Lionel Chazelle is, of course, French. Um, Kieran Clark learnt the game in France as a youngster. And uh, Raja, uh, I think, probably learned the game off Lionel. So um, it's very unusual. Certainly in Australia. So the red team have another opportunity here to forge ahead. like it may be a bit close because there's a bit of yes and no head shaking going on there. Harold will be very conscious, I think, of those two or three balls behind belonging to the opposition. Yep. He won't want to be pushing that jack. Nice high leaping shot, beautiful in. And a massive thank you to Hip Pocket Workwear and Safety for coming along as our broadcast sponsor today. Fantastic to see these businesses willing to support this kind of event. So three, three in that last end. The boys in red will be quite pleased with themselves now and they'll be trying to keep that momentum going. As we know, it's not just a physical game of throwing the ball, it's also that mental game of, of keeping your concentration on what's actually happening on each end. A big breathe out there from uh, Gavin. <laughs> That was a very gentle ball. It's in the head, so it's not in a bad place. Let's see what uh, Raja can do. He'll be looking to getting a good ball in front, taking the point. Five points behind is not too bad this early in the game, but they will want to draw it in as quickly as possible. This looks like a shorter end than the last couple as well. So I noticed Gavin was quite gentle with his point. It'll be interesting to see, given that these guys have been going past quite often, whether they can rein it in that little bit. Ooh, that looked like it was going to drift in nicely and it just turned. may look from here like that is a flat surface but as Gary mentioned uh, there are lots of undulations in there that are maybe a little bit difficult to see on film that definitely have an effect on the game that's a nice ball it's corrected well and you can see from the squatting position um, Raja is able to do more of a lob because it's coming from a low position. It doesn't have to be high, but it's a bit more of a lob in its in its flight. Oh, and Van straight in there. <laughs> nice to see a little bit of a smile at this point of the game. There's some very uh, serious faces naturally as they're all concentrating on on the play.
Oh, and that's a lovely point by Karen. It really started to slow down. As soon as it hit the ground, you could see the backspin starting to work on it, and it just pulled it up nicely. So Van has a second opportunity. And he's dropped short and it's bounced through. A little bit of debate now about their next move. Harold Dursey has played for Australia, uh, a highly credentialed player. He's won plenty of competitions in his home state. Yes. Uh, nice shot. Still quite open. So let's see whether Kieran can replicate his earlier point. And the answer is yes. He's a very good uh, all-round player, Kieran. Raja marking the kosh there because there was that little bit of movement. Looks like it's gone slightly offline. Always the difficulty when you've only got two balls. You haven't got the Goldilocks ball to correct with. This is an interesting conversation going on here. I think there was some motioning towards the kosh, to the bull. So let's see what Harold decides to do. Oh, he's gone with a shot and he's hit. Took a bit of a risk there. But um, it paid off. I suspect that's what he was saying. Let me do it. Mm. And he'd be most pleased that he has. Yes, an old Frenchman once told me, never shoot on your last ball. But uh, there are always occasions when you can do it more safely. And that's a nice point in by Lionel. I think they'd be relieved at this point that it's looking good for them to get on the board. <laughs> Little bit long on that second one, unfortunately, but it gives them their one. They're there, they're in the game now. Another of our broadcast sponsors is the South Australian Patong League, who um, are a fantastic organisation uh, running excellent competitions in this state. And we thank them very much for contributing to these videos. So 1-5. 
going with quite a long end, around 9 metres. He always likes to have at least one look, one stroll up the piste, looking for that ideal landing spot. And on this occasion, looks like that served him quite well. For those of you who haven't played a lot of petanque, um, the old saying is that a, a ball in front is a silver ball. And when it's this close to the jack, typically it's worth shooting. And through the middle there. Not happy with that at all, is he? You can no. see it on his face. It's highly unusual uh, for Van to be missing with this sort of percentage. He's normally very lethal, very consistent. And this is not a difficult shooting ground, but uh, so far he has not been straight more often than not. Although to be fair on all of these players, it's it's been a long weekend with a lot of play, so fatigue is probably kicking in as well as those nerves. No doubt. Oh, nice point in by Gavin there, taking the cosh with it. I think he was slightly fortunate there. because I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was his plan. No, it was looking like it was going to be well and truly long, but... Uh, Take the good luck with the bad. It tends to even out over the, the long weekend. One's pulled up a bit short. The bull in front may be a silver bull, but it still needs to be a little bit closer. And they now have two in front, so potentially intimidating, but at the same time there is also the possibility that uh, either one of them could be knocked closer to the jack, be it deliberately or otherwise. Although Lionel is pointing to the side, the option, preferred option, is probably to leave those two balls there to try pushing one. Uh, and if one is unsuccessful, having another ball go along is not ideal, but to leave them there could be useful. Oh, and Kieran beautifully through the middle there. I think almost certainly Van will step in and try and remove that ball. Which he does. And he'll be happy about that. That was a much cleaner hit. I think when you are tired, particularly as a shooter, there's always that temptation to drop the ball short, um, which can be successful still, but can also go awry, as we've already seen in this game. Oh, 
Oh, they've built a nice wall up front there. So two balls to, f to three. I imagine Lionel will be trying to come through that gap as Kieran did on his first ball and to leave those three there as a little defensive wall. Which I don't think was his plan, but it looks like he has succeeded in knocking it on. to one. This would definitely be worth a shot. A little shout out to our umpires in the background there as well. They've done a fantastic job over the weekend. hit. His strike rate is actually quite high so far in this game. Interesting that uh, Kieran tends to sit out the conversations a little bit more. Um, Lionel and Raja play a lot together. team have yet another opportunity to increase their lead. Oh. Unfortunately Harold missing that shot. Gavin looking to grab that point. And he's done it. Nicely knocked in there. <laughs> he'd be he'd be delighted with that. Uh, Clever Wombat, another one of our broadcast sponsors. They're the team that actually create these fantastic videos, uh, some amazing angles, and um, this is the second year running. And uh, I'm sure the experience gained last year uh, will really show in the final product of these finals videos the 2022 Australian Championship. And the red team will be delighted with the outcome of the last end, jumping ahead to eight. That's a nice lead to have. In 
front. It's got potential. As a player, Gavin's come on in leaps and bounds in the last year, and I suspect that much of that is to do with his regular partnership with Van. Van's not only a strong shooter, he's also strong strategically. And I think there's a lot that we, all of the South Australian players, learn from playing uh, against him and also watching him play. Oh, that one's pulled up short. These guys must really be feeling the pressure now. Yeah, when the score gets to eight, you can then lose in one end. So you have to be extremely careful. Raja is struggling a little bit. He's not really coming to grips with it. And Gavin is putting in a greater number of good balls. That's creating a solid basis for his team. And one wonders whether they might consider swapping roles. Uh, Raja can also shoot, but uh, they're just not getting those killer balls in early in the end. And once again, pulling up short. The initial ball by Gavin was a good one in front um, and probably far enough in front that it made it uh, a difficult decision whether to shoot or not. Um, they opted not to, and its presence is proving to be um, a significant mm -hmm. obstacle physically and mentally. There we go, that's closer. I think uh, Kieran may have used the strategy there of, well, I'm not going to be deterred by that ball. I'm just going to go straight for it. And so many times when you do that, you will just trickle past. Unfortunately, on this occasion, he hit, but he has now at least got a ball closer into the head. over the landing point there. Definitely needs a good ball. And there it is. That's a fantastic ball. Nicely through that gate. A quality player who's responded to a difficult situation. But uh, I think it's a fairly easy decision for Van the Man. What his next task is. Given they've still got five ball to play, they're in a strong position still. Oh, over the top. Straight in for the second shot. And he's got it that time. 
He's a very fast player. You know, quite often you'll find that, that players do take a moment, take a breath, maybe step outside of the circle, give themselves a moment before they take that second that second shot, whereas whereas Van seems to recognise what he did the first time, or what he didn't do the first time, and just get straight back in there and correct that. And I must confess, I do like that. <laughs> Keeps the game flowing. Yes. Yeah. Top shooters, much of their technique is based on feel. Um, and you miss, you feel what went wrong. And sometimes just shooting almost immediately is the best way to get that feel back. That's actually a good defensive ball by Lionel. While he's not holding, he has sat that in front of the holding ball, uh, which makes it a little bit difficult to shoot. I think what they were indicating there was that if Gavin could point and perhaps move Lionel's ball to the side either way to clear the way for um, a shot. not quite the plan. I think they would have preferred just a couple more inches of space uh, on the, the left side. But it still presents the opportunity to get extra points, but it will, will require a very accurate shot. Which Harold's not managed on this occasion. Let's see, is he willing to go hard on that last ball? wide I'm not sure quite what he was attempting to do there I suspect there was a little bit of safety first <laughs> these aerial shots from earlier in the weekend are really spectacular and show what a fantastic um, facility the Nova Gardens Baton Club actually has and uh, the club has now almost run their second championship and both of the weekends have been fabulous so the red team have added another point to their lead inching closer to that magic number of 13. And that's a great point in by Gavin. He liked it. Wouldn't we all? He's certainly been the most consistent uh, player, probably of the six at the moment. He's consistently doing his job. And straight away the press is on. Looks like Kieran is taking over that initial shooting role. Just missed. Mm. 
may take him a moment, given that he's just switched now to actually settle into this different shot. It's not a particularly long one. And there it is. Jack goes. But not so far. And the red team still have the point. Well, at least they've got a little bit more space now. Gavin's wife, Melissa, in the background with her runners-up medal from the women's triples. She'll be hoping that Gavin can go that one extra. Oh, nice ball. Good answer by Raja. I think he'll be relieved at that. He struggled a little bit, but that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Get his confidence back. Try and put a bit of pressure on the opposition. Yes! And that's a beautiful a shot. Nice clean shot. See if Roger can do it again. It really is perfect weather for Patonk. It's looking good. That's actually, in some ways, a better ball. It is absolutely a better ball. The jack is much less likely to move. The press is on. It has to be hit. And more to the point for Raja, that was two top quality balls. And that will give him a lot of confidence. Wow. I think that might give Van a bit of confidence as well. He'll be probably a bit disappointed in that, that the jack <laughs> moved. He's done a fantastic caro, and uh, unfortunately the, the jack has moved, so doesn't quite get the full benefit of it. So there is an opportunity now for our blue team. Uh, they, they are ball up, or well, they're not yet holding. There's quite a lot of space in there. And that's a great point. If the play of this end is anything to go by, it looks like the blue team may have found their stride. Certainly they've had to galvanise themselves at this point in time. They're, they can't afford to be giving away too many more points and they seem to have dug deep and they've come up with some really good pointing and an opportunity. Close but no cigar for Harold on that shot. There is a temptation on this ground to shoot a little bit short. Um, there is not a lot of bounce in it and the amount of spin that uh, Harold puts in typically would keep it low but you still got to be straight. Ooh. 
unfortunately missing on that occasion also. Alright, the finals missed the consistency. Gavin still has a ball left. It'll be difficult to take the point, but uh, he'll definitely want to try and get a ball in there to close the, the current gap, which is fairly large for a, a man of Lionel Chazelle's capabilities. a bit wide of the mark. It's not the strongest point we've seen from Gavin in this game, but it's also not out of contention entirely. I fancy Lionel's chances of getting up an extra point here. I suspect that you might be on the mark there. Proven right. I win the money. So that's a great, a great end from the blue team, and I think they will be absolutely relieved now that the the gap has closed a bit. They've put together some good balls. There's a bit of confidence, the sort of confidence you can have when you buy from hip pocket workwear and safety. Nicely integrated sponsor meshes, Jer. So, of course, in the final, they do have two pieces to play across. So the blue team will be happy to uh, have the jack to have thrown it first and to get to throw the first ball. Not a bad point, a little bit out to the side. So Gavin still has a clear path. I'm always amazed with Gavin just how full his pockets are. <laughs> Trying to see from this angle whether it has drifted in close enough or not. Van seems to think so. They're now requesting a measure. And it is there. Two balls of very good length. Beautiful point by Raja. It's always interesting when it's just behind the jack like that, with the tendency for a lot of shooters to be a little bit short in the front. 
Anything could happen here. Yep, anything could happen, and it has. So with that kosh going entirely out of play, we are starting the end again. Definitely picked up his game now. It's a lovely point. Van pacing it out. Just to be sure. But also just to give him a, a bit of an opportunity to set his mind. You can see how far short he was in that one and that it just skidded past. Okay, well that was a low shot but it managed to stay and actually that's quite a good result from that second that's shot. That's a good recovery. So the Blues have a ball advantage. If Raja can put a good ball in now, keep up the pressure. Take that point. Just short by the look of it. The line looked good. Yeah. You could see by his re reaction that he wasn't totally happy with that one. And nicely in. The red team waiting to see whether the blues call it. Going to see if they agree. like blue are on I think they were both thinking the same thing there with those arm actions I think so Gavin will be very keen to get back into the consistent groove that he was showing in the early ends oh, 
Nice ball. Unfortunately, a little too straight that time. Indications seem to be go on the left, leave the ball where it is, that's in front. Ooh, that was a great line, unfortunately just a little too heavy. Let's see what Harold can do. Possibly not what he was planning, but it certainly worked to their advantage. It's an outcome they won't be complaining about. Although on the other hand, with the Blues having three balls to one, it has put it into a nice open space. And a good shot at this point. Uh, Pointing onto Gavin's ball, which would have been much more difficult in the previous position. It looks like Kieran will be stepping up to shoot. but not close enough. Chazelle having a really good look. Well, they'd be very aware that they can't concede too many more points. That's a stronger point in. Kieran Clark to put his ball. Let's see if Kieran complies. That second ball going just over the dead ball line. Yeah. 
nicely knocked out. Hit the ball on the rise a little bit, but it didn't need to go very far. Once again, thank you to Clever Wombat for their magnificent work in producing these videos. The drone shots, I think, are particularly spe spectacular. So the red team are closing in on that 13. question of whether they can maintain that pressure. Even with all their experience, the blue team are still going to have to be very careful. And that's not what Gavin Scott wanted at all. Opportunity knocks for Raja. That first point is so important. Roger will be happy with that. Of course, the pointer's job is to make the shooter do theirs. And gives it a nudge. Again hit the ball on the rise of the bounce, but it's given enough space for Gavin to take the point. Looks to me like it may have just gone past. Yep, it has. Quite deceptive from here. This could be the crack in the armour that the blue team are looking for. With a high log, and that's come in nicely. Harold's got a uh, good variety in his game, can be very deadly with the high lob. That looks like it's positioned quite nicely on the same line as the, the opposing team's back bull as well means a little more thought in where the shot should go in. A 
And Leonel looks like he's moved back into the shooting role. But misses again. Temperature coming down a little bit. And Leonel puts on the jacket. We've had magnificent sunny days until this last day of finals. Where it has clouded over a little. Another miss. They look like very similar bulls. Both just through. Checking how many bulls are still left to play. Like Kieran's warming up for another shot. And he's followed the same path. See the crane in shot there. A few technical difficulties. Should there we be go. A problem as long as it stays still when they're <laughs> in the circle. <laughs> That's a nice ball. That's a very nice ball. You can see the relief. Yes, very pumped. Bounces over. Very briefly grabs his shoulder then, Van. I wonder whether three days or whatever of solid playing is starting to have a bit of an effect on him. It certainly does take its toll. And especially given the heat of the past couple of days as well. Shooting in cold weather is never the ideal. It's a lot of discussion here. Waiting to see Harold's plan of action here. I suspect that that was not part of the plan. I suspect you might be right. Stares at the ground in slight disbelief. <laughs> We've all had that moment. This does give the blue team an opportunity. Although, of course, the red team has that bull in close. And Kieran will shoot. He 
and goes over the top. So another point. Nibbling at the lead now. Fantastic perspective on the ground there. So, 4-10, the red team still with a good lead and still within an end of victory. So, the blue team still must keep it tight. That's a good starting point by Raja. Sending that one low and through. Just a little bit of tension creeping into the red team now. Yeah, you can see with the amount of conversation that's happening. sense Van's exasperation. I suspect exasperation at missing his shot, but relief at Gavin's beautiful pointing. Yes, he had one or two wayward ends in the middle of, of the game, but Gavin has uh, come back and is applying the sort of pressure that his teammates would be very happy about. Particularly at this stage of the game where they are within the range of winning. Another miss, just slightly wide. But he hit that time. Pushing the kosh back. And over the line. Over the dead ball line. Okay, so dead end. That's, that's not a bad outcome. No, I think you'd be reasonably happy with that at this stage. You sometimes can't legislate for the jack moving after you've hit the target bull. And I think Lionel will be quite happy that he, he did do that. A big thanks to the Patonk Federation of Australia who put in an enormous am amount of work uh, to organise these tournaments. And I think some people sometimes underestimate that. And of course also to Nova Gardens Sports Club for hosting and for all the work that that team and all the volunteers put in to, to make this happen. Yeah, we all love the event uh, and it can only go ahead with the time and effort over a period of weeks and months of numerous people who are all volunteers so we tip our hats to them all and so the restart after the jack was killed Raj 
Ninja would be quite happy with that. Just over nine meters. That's what it looked like. And we'll be very keen to remove this ball. He's had a run of misses, but he isn't backing off. He's one of those shooters who doesn't seem to lose confidence. He's very balanced in his play. I said that, and now they've switched. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. There is something to be said when you are shooting that you are you 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 have the knowledge of a good ball from one of your teammates nearby. The extra incentive that if you shoot and may perhaps achieve a caro, you end up with two points. This is. I think he was trying to do a point onto that ball in the hopes that he could do the job. Not an ideal tactic on this particular end, I would I would have thought. Take the point or be a good ball in front and then Van can shoot with the extra incentive of perhaps two. We did see Van grab his shoulder earlier. I wonder if there's something in that with this nine and a half metre end. Distinctly possible. That's a nicer ball. Certainly, I'd be uh, a question to be asked in the post match interview. Slightly unlucky there. He touched the ball. If it had been on the other side, it would have been perfect. And Lionel Chazal, very animated in the background. I suspect he feels that there may be an opportunity for them to get a few more points on the board. looked like it was going to take the jack and it just, just veered off to the side. I like the fact that Harold is showing the confidence to put the ball in the air and uh, as we've seen particularly early in the game when a lot of balls were going long um, it is one way of trying to prevent the ball from going long, give it some altitude, some backspin. Is this the first time we've seen Van Point in this game? Could well be. And he's done a very good job of it too. So, blue team, I've got plenty of balls in hand and an opportunity perhaps for them.
Again, Kieran stays back. There's more discussion on this than I was anticipating. I think a confident Lionel, someone who hits as often as he would normally be doing, would probably have less discussion. But... Uh, Okay, so he's taken. Well, I wonder if they were trying to do that actually, because there was a little bit of discussion around that front ball whether the the aim was to take that one out first. Could well have been. Hitting the front ball could have led to any one of a number of scenarios and some good, some not so good, but with the balls in hand, they were probably prepared to take that risk. Not sure what that was. Still seems to be quite a lot of debate over what to play. Very animated discussion. circumstances fantastic ball but they still need to get that one out that's holding Kieran has two balls if he can remove that uh, the red ball that's currently holding the point it would be a very useful way to end this particular end from the circle. Makes me wish I'd uh, honed my lip reading skills a little better. and a beautiful knock on. I imagine that'll be giving them some relief. be happy with that scoring two from that end two very very valuable points and another thank you to hip pocket workwear and safety for their support of this broadcast
So again, the blue team get to throw the jack and effectively select the distance. And it looks like they are aiming for longer ends. Four points difference now. And I think the blue team will be starting to feel that this game is becoming more and more in their reach. It's interesting how many times you see that momentum shift at this point of a game. Yeah. I've just gone a little long on that point. But the ball has stayed within the head. Yes, Despan's unwillingness to shoot on the previous end does make me think that perhaps he may have a shoulder problem and is feeling less comfortable about the idea of shooting. And of course I suspect his opponents are aware of this and that's why they're going for those longer ends. Because you use everything you can to your advantage. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a very good ball. See a few smiles happening there. Tit for tat right now. Okay, ben stepping up to shoot this time. Excellent. But it looks a bit short. showing Kieran exactly where he'd like that ball to go. And Kieran delivering. That's a great ball. But the red team have two balls in the hand, two balls extra. Four balls in the hand in total. Okay, checking what's holding third or fourth.
The umpires certainly earn their keep over a weekend like this. With so many games going on at all times. I suspect they walk a few miles. You'll see a, a range of measuring devices coming out. Um, these folding rulers have a small slider in the end for really precise measurements. And of course they have calipers for really, really small gaps and even shims for when it's really down to the millimetre. Van checking how many bulls the blue team still have to play. Shoots and touched it. Pushed it enough. Looks like it may have pushed Gavin's bull also. back onto the blue team. Oh, and they respond. That's what we're used to Lionel doing. Yes, a nice relaxed, smooth, almost gentle lob onto the target and a very nice caro on the spot replacement. So that should mean two points on the ground currently for the blue team. Lob again. Good ball, but unfortunately, it's knocked that front ball in. As far as defensive shots go, it's not too bad. But um, the blue team still have the point. But it's a ball apiece. sure whether that was just a unlucky bounce or whether he was hoping to push his own ball in and create a double obstacle or possibly take the, take the point in front but uh, it does present Lionel Chazal with an opportunity to take another point 
and that would of course mean that the blue team are also in a position where they could win in one end. The red team have had the luxury of that applying to them, but now the tension increases on them as well. It looks like they're checking the lay of the land to see who's actually holding second. two teams uh, enjoying a, a discussion. And it looks like, I believe that's the red team holding second. So Lionel may try to play off or onto his own team's ball and potentially could get three. And that would uh, amount to a significant comeback. But no. It's not to be. They do get the one point from this end but are unable to capitalise. Edging ever closer. You'll notice uh, in the background of some of these shots that uh, other clubs from the South Australian Petonk League have contributed uh, equipment in the form of gazebos to make sure that the players have as much comfort as is possible. And uh, we thank them as well for their contribution. So with the score at 7 to 10, it is becoming a much closer game now. Blue team slowly edging their way back into the game. Is their momentum car likely to carry on or are we due for a change in fortunes? Well, that won't be what Roger was hoping for. It's a good line, just too heavy. of this of the string that's a nice ball just drop that almost at his feet I think that's the trick isn't it on this this there is a slight slope and they're needing to really rein in the energy on these points to stop the bulls from going past. Lionel shoots unsuccessfully.
Can Raja put a good ball in? We need Lionel to move out of the way so we can actually see. <laughs> given that they're not vacating the feast. So it wasn't quite enough. It's not a bad ball, but Looking good. Has it made it there? Raja Looks like certainly it. seems to think so. Mm, the red team not entirely convinced. Folding ruler. Generally in a final, it is common practice for the umpires to do all the measuring because of the importance of each measurement. Very good ball in front. Van mm, gives it a tip, dribbles over to the side a little, but stays holding. Again. Yes. And a similar result. Yes. Just pushing it a little bit to the side, a little bit, a little bit back, but not sufficient to take the point. And I think that may have also pushed their own ball out of contention now, so the blue team are potentially holding two at this point. Three balls. The blue team has two. Oh, and Gavin's put a gorgeous ball in. That's exactly what you'd want right now. It's taken the point. It's and it's also made it a little bit difficult to shoot. Although, if your assessment of the end is correct, uh, the, the Blues still have that second ball. Oh, that's a fantastic nice shot. shot. That is what Lionel is capable of and normally does it far more often than we've seen him so far in this final. 
There's a lot of discussion here as to what is going to be the strongest move. nice line question is whether it's made it looks like looks like it's still not quite in there it's brought them back to bull even as well Unfortunately, had a couple of odd bounces with those lobs. The ground wreaking its revenge. So a chance for Kieran Clark to make it too. goes past but that's another one on the board for the blue team now 8-10 this is a closer game and that's where the players all want to be standing in that number one position clever wombat number one for Patonk videos Again, using the diagonal. They may not necessarily be capitalizing on each end in that then they're, they're getting stuck on ones, but they are slowly creeping back into the game. This is a much tighter game now. It's good to see. You can see the spectator ranks are swelling somewhat as well. bad ball but it's not the ball he would have wanted to immediately apply the pressure this is a this is an end where Gavin can put in a very good ball there's no nothing in the front no obstacles and he would be hoping to do that and push the pressure back on to Raja. And he has been playing well, so he's he's certainly capable. There it is. That's a great ball. The red team will be really wanting to take back the momentum of this game now.
bit of a question. Looks like Raj is stepping up. So now he'll be feeling a bit more pressure. He won't want to do another ball like the first. It's just curved out. Stepping in to shoot, but it has to be a little bit careful of the proximity of Rajan's second ball. Nice so shot. That fantastic shot. Achieves a palais, where not a, not a caro, but his ball stays very much in the vicinity. He's done it again. Excellent work under pressure. You've got to give him credit. He's definitely brought his game. That's shot. a great shot. And he's a little bit pumped by that. Two really good shots at a crucial time. One dropping short, rolling right through the middle. Yep, that's the spot. Slightly nonplussed. Pressure on Harold Dersey to come up with a ball that closes the end. And I think ideally he's looking for a ball that perhaps rests on the dark ball near the jack. It's not bad. It's in the game. But not what he wanted. So Van now stepping up to shoot again. Now they've got that bull in there. Yes. And a and fantastic repost. Yeah, he doesn't miss twice. So the pressure now on Kieran. So three killer shots in this end. Two from Lionel, one from Van.
not quite there. It was wishful thinking that made Raja reach for his tape there. This is how it puts in the order and can Clark produce the goods. And he does. Yes, he can. Throwing it back to the red team. Saying you've got one bull. What are you going to do? I think Darcy's going to shoot. walked up, he smoothed the patch in front and he pretty well put it on and the ball stayed low so he'll be pretty happy with that. Yeah, so the smile. I think the Patton Federation of Australia will happy, be very happy with this weekend. So this could be it. This could be the last end. Of course, once a team makes 12, it does change the way the opponent looks at the game. But they're not called sticky 12s for nothing. Definitely. Raja will be pleased that he's got a fairly open line. bounce just a little bit reticent at times it's good that he's managing to keep the balls in front he's got a big commitment to that but uh, just dropping short on a few occasions But not this time. A good recovery. <laughs> After a ball like the first one, the thought does creep into your mind. I better not do this another one like that. Pressure on yourself. Something you don't need. In a final. In a situation where your opponent is one point from finishing the game. Great line. Hasn't taken the point, but it's directly in front. 
course this presents Van with the incentive to take the opportunity. Yes! Which is done. He does and stays. That really does put the pressure on the blue team now. Two points on the ground and they only need one. I think this discussion will possibly go to 59 seconds. <laughs> Not something they want to rush. Yeah, you could be right there. It's like a change of plan. Piece of magic. They'll be pleased with that decision now. It's paid off. Man the man. Another opportunity. Yes! Oh, it's great shot. And stays again. That's really pulling out some big shots in crucial moments. The last few ends, Van has uh, certainly lifted his shooting game. So maybe we were wrong about the shoulder. Definitely a difficult moment for the blue team. Whatever they choose to do, they need to pull it off now. They've got the bull advantage, but red have three points on the ground. Nice point by Karen. It's a good enough ball that even if it hasn't taken the point, it does provide the opportunity to shoot. Right at this point in time, they're calling in the umpire. This is definitely a nail biter of an end. teams have come up with some really excellent shots, points, under pressure. And fingers will be crossed behind backs over this one. Ooh. I think Red have still got that point they have. Pressure on Lionel to shoot now. Goes over the top. One ball left. Game on the ground. Immense pressure. 
pressure. The movement in the crowd, I suspect. That's a and great shot. It's he responded well. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief over that one. Although red team still with balls in hand. One point to finish. Two balls with which to do it. And both of them are in the hands of Harold Dursey. Oh, he shoots, he hits, but it doesn't go. Has a chance he could shoot again and without a ball behind it. This time it will go as long as he hits. Yes! And he does. And he's done it. And that is it. That is the and game. What a way to jubilation. end. <laughs> That's a magnificent finale. A number of first time winners of the championship. And you can see just how pleased they are. It's great to see both the teams smiling. Just a little bit of excitement there. <laughs> it's great to see. Though both, both teams know they've participated in an excellent final. Ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. And well done on the red team for keeping that early lead all the way through the game and managing to pull it off.